Oh, where do they keep the dratted tea? Why not try one of the lower cupboards, Professor? What? Oh, yes, of course. Feeling any better? I'm all right. Thank you for your concern. It must have been quite a shock for you. Seeing the future so crowded, so vibrant, so diverse. Oh, Doctor, stop it. The wide-eyed children are all in the next room. We're both adults. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Tell me. You knew all along. You knew things don't get better. That word again. Better. You've used it before. What I saw today, Doctor, of what will come. Some of those people weren't even human anymore. No, they were new and different and wonderful. Oh, please. What I saw today was an affront. It was the future. Not my future. I am an extremely tolerant person of disability, of homosexuality, of neurodivergence, you name it. But these things are, are, they're failings. They are wrong, but we tolerate them because we can't change them. Is that what you think tolerance is? Oh, dear. And I usually pick my companions so well. I must have been ignoring all the warning signs or just hope that they weren't there. I'm not sure if my friends in there have picked up on it yet. But I fear it's only a matter of time. To be honest, I'd rather spare them the hurt of finding out. So I suggest you leave before you give yourself away. What are you talking about? Your reaction to seeing the future is the affront, Professor McBride. And suddenly all those questions and all that probing make sense. You have a deep-seated hatred of the other, don't you? I've seen that hatred manifest as petty cruelty at least three times since our return. I do not wish to see it manifest again. I don't hate anyone, Doctor, but I do have a right to my thoughts and feelings. Yes, you have, Professor, as I have the right to want nothing further to do with you. I see. Well, so you'd rather shut down all possibility of further discussion? No further discussion is necessary. The right of people to exist is not open for debate. And after all that shadow boxing, finally, we each know where the other stands. It seems we do. But the future isn't set, Doctor. If it were, you wouldn't meddle the in it. The future belongs to neither of us. It belongs to the people who live there. But go away, you... Professor! Just... just... go away.